it's another box with another project in it from my good friends at Manchester Vax. What's inside? Well, let's have a look and get it open and assembled. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Um, ah, there we go. I can get my knife open. Here we have what will hopefully be another future museum piece to go in the vacuum cleaner museum up in Manchester. There's also something else which I'm doing for I uh, should remember the forum from Italy. Yes, right. Well, this is going to be fairly easy to tell what it is as soon as I open it. We have, oh, we have a Hoover Senior 652C with the remains of a hood. This I only really have for the motor which Stuart is sending to somebody. So we have that poor thing which is actually spares for sc spares and scrap all in one go. So we'll pop that there because what we're really interested in is the rest of this package. Oh my gosh. Right. Um, we have a handle. Oh wow. <laughs> For test, not return. Well, I think it's been tested fairly thoroughly. Oh, we have another half of the handle. It's got a pattern handle grip on it. The whole bag holder is utterly trashed. The, there's a rivet that holds it on, and that is awful quite frankly. Um, oh God. Well, I think there was a plug on it. That's been at the bottom of the box and been smashed. There's a little bit of the hood. The hood on that one was smashed anyway. That hasn't, that hasn't happened in transit. It's not too bad. And then, oh God, if I put this box out of the way, we have another one with a bag, so that's not bad. So we've got one keeper. Crikey, so this is also a, ah, oh. So it's not actually a 652C, it is. Looking at the ratings plate, a 6525C. Well, we can date this, it is from Oh, the actual rated plate says 652, 1972, this particular example, oh, crumbs, so, oh, I don't, let me pick you in a bit closer and we'll have a look at this disgusting thing, it's actually not in bad cosmetic order. In fact, looking at the hood, under all this filth, that bit of wear there is possibly the only problem it has. Comparing it with this hood, I would say they're both probably as bad as each other. This has got more, in fact, they're, they're different colours as well. <laughs> that one's a more greeny colour and this is a more cream colour. So, yeah, that can go back there. So I need the motor for that one. Apparently the motor runs. So we might actually look at this one much more. I might show you the motor when it's done. But as far as it goes, this is what we are going to be concentrating on. So we have the height adjustment. Doesn't work. Oh gosh, look, it's a bend. So we do need a lot of this then. Because that wheel holder there, look, is 
bent. It might, it might bend back. It may not be too bad, although it's not really touching anything per se. We'll take the base plates off while we are here. So the base plate's okay. Brush roll, it has very good brush strips on it, so that's okay. We'll just need to paint the brush roll. Brush roll's far better than this one. So that's not too bad. I think this one's also got a belt on it. Yeah, nice warm belt on that one. There you, go. you can see both of them now. They are identical. The 652C and the 6525 are pretty much identical. This one's got a 3926 on it. Well, I don't think that's really anything to worry about. In fact, this is missing both of its rear wheels. It also doesn't have... It's missing everything. So this one has been used for spares before. So... I don't know where to start. So we've got to somehow bend this all back. Which shouldn't be too difficult. He says, hopefully. It's got his wheels ish. The bumper is quite worn. But may not be too bad. If not, I can always use this bumper because this bumper is in good condition. And just swap them over, drill out the rivets, use some coat screws to go back on. Base plate's okay, that's quite shiny. So we'll pop that back on for now. Oh. Crumbs, right. Oh. I want to try and get this bag off. The problem I've got though, and this affects a lot of them, is that. The latch is seized, and that, this does happen, it's mainly dirt. There we go. So with a bit of prying, we can remove the bag, which has a lovely layer of fluff on it. Does the zip work? Oh, just what sort of bag is inside of it? It is a pattern bag. We have a nice Bojack Hoover Senior bag. Oh there, look. Oh. Move that back up. The bag's in very good condition though. That will clean up a tree. We'll pop that out of the way. It's a shame about these handles because I don't, I haven't got spares. So although I can clean it all up, that is ghastly. <laughs> that is utterly, utterly terrible. Let's remove the lower handle bolt and try and fit this on I'm assuming it goes on this way well in fact once it's all together it might not be too bad it should hold itself together so we'll pop this bottom screw on except it's not staying in place terribly well. Oh crumbs. Oh, there we go, that's fit. Right. Going to have to use the bottle opener that's on my keys. Which where are my keys? Oh I don't have my keys. I mean we'll use this pair of scissors. I only want to tighten it up enough. That's working alright. So that is actually holding okay. We might get away with this lower handle. The handle release works. So actually, before we go too much further, let's have a peek under the lid and see what joys we find within. There's two screws that hold the hood to one of these on. There we go. Take that off and then the hood will just lift off and, oh, crikey. Ugh. The lens is in really good condition. Look at this bulb. What is going on? That is like a that's like a that's like a lamp bulb. Oh, it's filthy. The whole, the whole thing is utterly caked. It's also been 
paint here. It's a genuine Hoover motor though. There's no markings on the bulb. It's a 40 watt bulb. <laughs> Somebody has fitted a bona fide 40 watt lamp bulb. I don't think there was a bulb on this one. No, there's no bulb on that one. Somebody has fitted a 40 watt lamp onto this machine. It still has its suppressor. The big old cobweb there. It's just filthy. Crikey, look at that. The handle grip is a bit battered under there. Right, we'll put the hood back on. It's a genuine hood, at least. And that is actually free of major damage. So that should polish up not too badly. Oh. Right, let's just do the screws back up. There we go. Then we'll stick the top of the handle on. It's such a shame about. I don't think I can really show you how, let me put the lights on my camera on, because in there, look, is the back of that rivet. I might be able to stick a tiny nut and bolt on there, perhaps. <sighs> Handle grip is fitted properly, got to try and battle that off, that'll be fun. Hopefully, if I can tilt you back to that, there we go, look. That adjusted my tripod. Hello, hi. Join the show so far, I'm not. Crikey, Stuart, you do pick up some janky old rubbish, don't you? But, oh. Hey ho. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? This is going to be an interesting one. So there we go, look, that does fit on there, okay. We can stick the bolt back in on the front. Do this screw up. So, I mean, apart from the cord hooks are a little bit iffy. There's a dent in, oh gosh, this, yeah. I think I'm gonna be telling Mr. Stewart that he needs to look out for a better handle. Because there is no saving this, and I don't actually have any spares. I haven't got a spare handle. But they'll be fairly easy to get hold of. You basically just need to get a whole new scrap machine. So we can clean it up and make it look nice. I can't push the machine because of the knackered wheel. Although it seems to work, it seems to just about hold its own. Oh gosh, right, let's get the bag on. Oh, the whole thing's bent. That should sort itself out. Really, the bag does fit on, although it's all bent and warped and holy crumbs. <laughs> Next thing I've got to do now is to find another plug. The next day I have an actual screwdriver rather than the poor excuse for tools that I currently have here at my mum's actually. I'm, I'm lacking a little bit but hey ho, there we go. So I'm just going to quickly stuff these into there, a bit of standard tape and we can turn it on. Only joking, of course we shall fit it properly. In fact, this plug will probably stay because it is, it's not vintage, it is a nice retro crab tree look. Fairly age appropriate, I think you'll agree. So now we can plug it in. Now this isn't quite as scary as it could be because this has been turned on before. Mr. Stewart has tested it. In fact, he tested them both and they do run. But obviously, I don't know how badly. We shall find out. Oh, 
is a bit grumbly on the old wind down, but of course there's a very large possibility that that is the Bosch fault rather than the motor. So the best way to test it is to take that off. Gosh, that's still spinning. So yes, the brush roll itself needs a little bit of work. Then apart from that, it's very good. It's just, I wonder if we can do anything with this back corner, just while we're here and I have some tools, I suppose. Now, I've just taken the bag back off and immediately have found a problem. This has just snapped off of there. So this bag flange is now scrapped. So this one needs to be kept. I shall clean it off wire wheel it all off and just spray it white I think we'll get away with that so that's now become a little bit more important but that's for later we need to pop the hood back off but really that bent bit obviously apart from it being filthy there isn't anything else wrong with it really I mean that's bent but we have a spare one of those, so we'll take the hood off and just pop it very safely out of the way. And I'll bring you down a bit and we'll have a look at this corner. Because the way to get this bracket off is quite simple. There is a circuit just here. And you push the circuit off. Oh, it's been a little screwdriver. It's moved, you just got to, there we go, it's, it's all stuck on with gunk. So the whole of this back axle is held on with these circuits. I must do a strip down video on one of these one day. It's not going to happen here, but there's plenty more seniors about. So that has loosened that. We'll take the tool port out because that also clamps down on this back wheel axle which we need out of the way there we go Ooh, yeah that's that's not fit for anybody that isn't but we'll keep it for just a second we'll also remove the spring because that's going to be Annoying. That's the spring that obviously pulls the wheels down. I think this has been bodged before. Because there should not be this many washers on here. In fact, I can tell it's been bodged. In fact, we can lift the whole thing out now. Yeah, that's that's quite bent. And there's far too many things on that side. This is okay, but that is not. So, in fact, I think I can tell exactly what's missing, and it's actually on the spares machine. So, we'll take off that circlip. Oh my gosh, it's just dropped. That circlip. Two washers, which shouldn't be there. There is a wheel. It's possibly genuine Hoover. There's nothing stamped in it, but there's the wheel. Then there's this monstrosity. These should not be there. Oh, wow. Look at the wear on that. That is quite something. <laughs> I think that whole thing isn't very good. But yeah, this is... This shouldn't look like that. <laughs> at all. I'm going to try and bend it back, otherwise I need to get a spare. And I don't have a spare. This thing has taken a hefty old knock in the past. Because it should move up and down. 
they're not clamping quite enough yeah this this should slide up and down with uh, the whole thing oh okay it's moving it's just moving to the next bed bit We should eventually be able to tease it into life. That's really no use to anybody at the minute, and that's a big shame. The more I do that, it is straightening up. It hasn't got to be perfect, just better. So I'm going to just keep going at it for a couple of minutes and we'll come back and hopefully it'll have some movement in it. There we go folks. I actually opened it up a little bit. It's still not perfect but it will do for now. That bit just is straightening out which is better done with a hammer and a hard surface. But we still need to pick apart these wheels really. That is odd what's happened to these axles because on the other machine just the base this is the back axle from it and it looks complete like not completely different but very different indeed that is the bit that's missing that little clip there but again this it's been amended because that is not a normal size washer And I'm hoping it comes off. Because if it doesn't, we end the video here, really, because I can't. There we go. I haven't got any more. I've got. A, I've got. I do have circlips. Just not here. Note that is the Hoover one. <laughs> It'll do for now. Oh gosh. What was that that just fell out? I don't care about you. There it is. So, we have our better axle. Better. <laughs> See, even this needs to come off. In fact, it doesn't need to come off. We'll think there's a slot there. This goes in. But I think for now, we're going to ignore that. So. We're going to rebuild this back up with the correct axle and in theory we just want and washer and wheel and other washer and we're going to have to reuse this horrible circlip I think, I don't know, there's no others but well, there's a big supply of one there actually yes, 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 yes hang on, I'm going to pinch one from this pairs machine Go one acquired washer, washer, sir. Clip, it's not a washer, it is a sir. Clip, yeah. This is this machine is not in the best of health. But as long as it's all there, it shouldn't be too difficult to fix. I just need to know that everything here is okay to use. I want to use it a little bit more on the video. There Okay, look. So we have one wheel. They're different colours as well. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Now we have one washer. We've got the other wheel. But we are missing a nicer washer. These are all far too big. So in the absence of the spares that I have at home, 
we are going to have to fit this oversized washer. Right, so it'll do for now. And there we go, we now have a much better wheel axle. Much better indeed. So that goes in there. Oh, I think I forgot. No, I haven't forgotten to do anything. Right, so that's there. Now, if I have forgotten to do something, I've forgotten to put this in. This needs to go. Oh, that should have gone in there. Hang on. Right, some fafferage later, and I have now got this on and circlips down. Next, we do need to fit the this bit back because it holds it. And looking at or comparing the two, it's actually not that bad. And the whole thing is certainly paint-wise better than the one on the spares machine. So we will be using this. We got to refit this, it will not flap up anymore at the minute because it is completely gunked up. We shall, well, I shall be fixing that, but not now. We just need to screw this back on, like so. Basically, this holds it all in, and if I don't put this in, it'll all just fall out as soon as I try and move the machine. And I should be very annoyed. The screws are in good condition though, they're, they're very brassy. The whole thing should come up rather nicely indeed. There we go. That spring needs to be up there. Marvellous. Now the whole thing sort of, that is bent, but not too much. That'll do, because that should, because it's missing the little half moon part that sits there and just locks that into place. But, um, forgive me, I'm just going to stick the base plate back on, because I don't want this apart any more at the minute than I need to because I want to keep it fairly whole so it go in the car. Ooh. It now just about moves. However, I have just noticed something else. Which, let me take the camera off the tripod to show you. That should not sit at that angle. This, whatever's made that bent, has bent this entire flipping bar. What a pain. So we've now got to swap all of this as well. And the way you swap, well, the way we swap all of this is yet more circlips. There is one here, if I can rotate it around so I can get it off. No, you could hammer it out, if you didn't have the spare. You could very easily just give it a tap in a vice. But we do not have that luxury, so we need to take our newly fitted part back off. Push that out of the way, there is a washer. Then this bit is secured in with another circlet which is buried under a massive layer of filth. Oh that's just come off and gone somewhere. 
So the actual pedal is a little bit bent, but different to this one, so it should be okay. Oh, where's that flipping circuit just gone? No, 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 no. Right, I, there's no finding that now. <laughs> That is the problem with these circuit clips, they are so, so small. That is gone forever, so we do need a spare circuit, but for now we should be alright. Then, tease the cable out, and that's just held on with that. We'll leave that there for a second. Yeah, that's very bent. Ooh. Now we need to move to this side. Where we remove there's a screw over here it's the only screw there is and that holds down a little plate that holds come out come on what's stopping you there should be nothing oh there we go that's what's stopping it so this is the release ago, okay, that's that that's now floppy because this is the part that locks it in. Now it's just a case of hammering it. Really? There's no other circuits, but we've now got to try and Need to be stuck, it just needs to be forced into line. There we go. That's what made the bag so difficult to get on and off because that was rusted. So that is a very bent axle thing. That whole thing is now loose. The whole thing is disgusting. There we go, we'll just make it a little bit nicer to be around for now. And I've got to get the same one out of the scrapper. And in contrast, this is just pulled out really easily. So, that is scrap. Guys, because I've got a spare machine, isn't it? God, blimey. Right. So now, we need to fit it all back together. And we'll have you at this angle for a change, I think. So, we need to get the bag slide ready. So this pushes in. Then there's a spring. Then there's this part. And this little notch here lines up with the notch on the chassis. Like so. However, before you do that, we need to get the handle bail in. I completely forgot about that. That was a schoolboy error. See, this all this is why these always work so much nicer with a bit of grease up. When you put them together, you stick a nice smear of grease on everything. So there we go. So that's now intact. We can put our cable guide in place and just run the cable a bit more nicely. Then, so that's there. We don't actually need to worry about that yet. It's this that we need. This is the height adjustment module. It needs to go on. Oh, yeah, we're missing a circle, aren't we? I don't think it's going to matter too much. I think if we just stick, I think it was this washer first wasn't it? I'll put this washer in. I'm going to, when I put this together, I've got a really good 
guide actually for one of my own threads. You see, even I use my own threads to do these things. That literally step by step says where everything has to go. So that is what I shall use to put this back together. This, for this video, will be absolutely fine. Now, why are you not going on? Something's not right. Let me fiddle. Well, that's something I have just learned. The 652 and the 6525 are different. Look, there is a circuit slot on the original and not on the other one. So we are going to have to refit the slightly bent one. Although I think though it's not as bent, we might get away with it. There was me always thinking that the 6525 was just a cosmetic rebrand almost. It's not. It is very much different. That's interesting to note. Very interesting to note. So there should be a circuit that goes there by the cable holder, but we do not have that circuit because it went pudding. So we won't worry too much about that. We want this washer. We'll put that washer there. This is all a little bit of a just get it working so I can use it again in this lovely before video that's probably gone on for far too long so apologies if you're a bit bored it was not my intention to spend this long doing it so now we've there we go now I can get the circuit on the end as long as this circuit's on the end it will work and I shall put it together properly there we go, look. It works. But you can see we put this back together now. This bit fits over there. Fits over the little roller wheel, which probably isn't roller wheeling too well at this precise second then this metal part here goes over the top of the little metal pin and then when you put the screw in it clamps it all down it's very clever then the spring goes on Oh, that's still not it's terribly fine, is it? What's... Ah, because this bit isn't there. Yeah. We just need the missing square piece, which I shall have to make a new one of. But for now, that will do. That will do okay. What I also want to do is to remove the suppressor because I do not like suppressors the best of times. I especially don't like suppressors on machines like this which look like they've been sitting under the sea and this is a nice kind of suppressor this green one and that it sort of goes onto the circuit as opposed to being you know an actual part of the loom so all we've got to do is basically just undo three screws with the wiring the third one goes off at the back of the light bulb holder in fact i don't seem to recall the light bulb lighting up was that just me or did it not do it there we go look if that just put this light bulb screw on because otherwise the whole thing won't work. There we go. And if I just loosen this clamp, I won't remove it yet because I can't be bothered. There we go. We have one horrible 
ticking time bomb gone. And that, that springs upside down, there we go. That we've actually cured most of its evils. That's very interesting. So we can now put the hood and the lens back on. Put the lens on the hood. And drop them down. not being able to line anything up at all really what is your problem this one. here comes the other Marvellous. So apart from the missing part of the rear wheel here, which would lock that in, because that's what it's supposed to do, I think we're actually ready to give it another go. Woohoo! Right, let me clean all the bits here up that we don't need, and we'll get on with it. One thing we need to do, oh, I've just been tidying up for five minutes, is spot the bag around. Now I need a little thin screwdriver because we need to undo the bolt that holds the bag into place. Without saying that we need to do a bit more don't we? We need to open the bag first, undo the bolt fully by the looks of it. bag itself comes off these are always filthy there <laughs> always 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 next oh. well, next this the bellows need to come off of here and would you know it they've been glued on before this is interesting <laughs> oh there's the there we go there's the joint I'm going to have to peel it off as best I can because obviously this one is the broken one. I'm not going to bother trying to glue that on. Not now. <laughs> Try to see, sometimes these have a hoover on them, but this one doesn't. So, oh, let me just turn this around so I get this the right way. Just now, I need to push this back onto here. Now, when it's refurbished, um, I do this because Hoover did this. The way to stick these on is a nice lick of tape all around there, literally, big fat lick of electrical tape. Probably not much point doing that in a minute because it's not going to stick to anything. So, for now, we shall just have to suck it and see. That seal is awful as well. I don't quite know what I can do about that. We might have to have a ponder, but that can be a ponder for another day. We need to refit the bag. It'll do for what we're just about to do. And it doesn't matter if it gets filthy because obviously it's all coming apart to be very much refurbished. Very much refurbished indeed. Okay. Line that up and screw it home. Oh, I just noticed a load of paint on the bumper. Oh, flip it. This is a project and a half. Thanks, Stuart. Just what I needed. 
Well, that's not got long left in it either. Ooh. Ah, it's just vomited all over the carpet. Oh no, we best cleaned that up, hadn't we? Right, so now we have a metal bag holder. The bag holder slide is really difficult to move because the whole thing needs a thorough grease. Ooh. We are finally done and ready to give it another go. This time though, it might work a little bit flatter. And now, possibly, do some more cleaning. So we shall put the height adjustment to number two. still not level by any stretch and I think it's actually the adjustment causing that but hey ho that could be sorted when we refurbish it so for test not return no we'll be fine This will hint to the hint, obviously, because this is the next day I had last night. I've actually just I've, I've bought a scrap machine off of another collector with some decent handles on it. So you will see this with different handles on it next time. But the main machine should hopefully be a little bit nicer once it is done. So from this and our spare 652A, and I found the ratings plate. There it is, look. And you can just about see, this is the 421st for January 1960. I think that says. I presume it's 60s on that one. And obviously this one being a 6525C is from 1962 or 1972. I will find out, this is the 3492nd. So not quite as interesting. God, there's paint all over there as well. I thought this had been painted, you know. I think I was right. We might be using this hood. Who knows? Anyway, this video has gone on for far too long. I am going to bid you farewell. Thank you for watching. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.